life is is weird, but um, I am trying my best, and I'm doing okay. Um, so, one thing that I don't usually like talk about is that I so I have severe depression. I know that I've had it my whole life, so I I, I know I have it. Um, but I also, ever since my accident 10 years ago, have not been able to get my digestion like under control or just working. So I'll go like two to three weeks without pooping. And that's not exaggerating at all. Um, and I've tried everything. Um, I need to be more consistent and try it long term before I give up. And um, but it can be so overwhelming, like when you're full of poop, toxins, and you already have depression. Um, your body just doesn't. I don't have the energy. I get anxiety. Like I get so overwhelmed with everything, and um, so. A lot of times, like, when I post things and I'm losing my mind and, um, yeah, it's depression. But I have to remember, too, that I'm full of toxins and that I haven't pooped. Like, right now, last Tuesday, I took nine laxatives to be able to go, and I hadn't gone for at least two weeks. Um, so I, I haven't ever really been good at keeping track of it. But right now, I know that it has been a week and two days since I've gone because I took the laxatives last Tuesday after I was losing my mind um, and I called my stepmom just crying my eyes out it was such a mess like and feel so overwhelmed and just like I can't do this and um, and then she was like Megan you need to get in and get a colonic done and and I always you know, I don't do the things that I need to do sometimes because I get, I just think I can't afford it. And, you know, I just feel bad for myself and end up crying in bed and feeling helpless and hopeless. And um, instead of just doing what I need to do and believing in the process. So that's what I, I got off the phone. I scheduled an appointment to get a colonic. I took more laxatives and, um, and I was just like, okay, I'm doing what I need to do. And then I went and bought expensive probiotics and um, drinking water. I'm, you know, so that's, that's one thing that I don't usually talk about, um, but it's huge. So it might make a little more sense. Like, I know we all, we all go through struggles and I 100% get that. So many people, you know, they're like the things that they're dealing with are so hard and I, I can't imagine, but I know that you like, you can't compare yourself to anyone else. And what I'm going through is really hard as well. Um, Cause you, like living with depression and also being full of poop and just toxins um it's it's hard uh I can't even describe the battle every day that I face just to get up and get going and do what I need to do it's it's really hard um but one thing is I know that I need to you know follow my heart and do what I believe in. I can't let the depression win. And honestly, it gets close sometimes. Um, there's people that, you know, live with depression and there's people that don't make it um, because depression is a disease that truly can kill you. It can make you kill yourself. It's like, you know, people get cancer, cancer kills you, people, there's all these diseases in the world and people get schizophrenia, schizophrenia can make you kill yourself, um, depression makes you kill yourself, it's not you, 
And so it is, it's a huge fight. Um, but I'm trying to follow my dreams and be my best self. And that's, my best self is someone that believes in me. And I just, I wanna be my best. I, that's why I'm not giving up on this basketball dream. I'm going for it, and my fitness trainer, she, um, she, you know, every whenever I go in there, people always ask like, "Oh, what are you doing in your life?" And um, I keep saying, I, "I don't know. I'm lost. I have no idea." And but then the people around me that know me, they're like, "Yeah, you do. Like, you have a lot going for you. You're doing a, you're doing a lot. Like, this is, and and that's the truth. Like." I'm doing things. I just don't want to, it's like I don't want to admit it. I don't want to say that I'm trying to do this, that I'm going to try out for the USA team. And because I'm scared, what if I don't make it? What if I tell everyone that this is what I'm doing and then I fail? I'm scared that I'm not trying hard enough. I'm not doing enough. I'm, and I am, I'm doing a lot. I'm trying hard and I'm doing the best that I can and I just need to own it and wake up every day with a purpose, just like my fitness trainer, Lacey says, like, wake up with a purpose. Just, this is my purpose right now. This is what I'm doing. And I need to just own it. <sighs> Might make life a little bit easier, but also I need to poop. I don't know. Gonna keep trying, keep drinking water, keep peeing my pants because the more I drink water, the more I pee because my bowels are pushing on my bladder. And I gotta pee right now. Um, And then I'm gonna go shoot hoops with the shooting gun. Keep working (gasps) towards my dream. Okay, I'm gonna go pee. That's that.